a local resident came to me and asked if we could um, do an exhibit that's close to his heart, climate change, and something that's very thought-provoking and something that we all start to, we really need to start thinking about. I was a little apprehensive at first and not in a bad way. Um, my, my thought pattern was, how do I explain this to artists? How do I put this out there? The whole premise of these sort of new exhibits that we're doing, these group exhibits, are to enable um, local artists that are not artists, but have a creative drive in them, that want to be a part of the bigger picture. And this, I think, has really opened up eyes to people on a lot of different levels. One being this important topic, which is climate change, which is affecting everybody and everyone in the entire world. But it's also giving the opportunity for artists that have never experienced a show to give them a path give them a path to create something, whether it be positive or negative, it's where their mind goes. So I think it does cover that, and I think it's, it's thinking outside the box of what a typical artist should be or what it should look like. In this case, we have two-dimensional, but we also have three-dimensional, so we have a lot of different mediums in this exhibit, and I think it's been wonderful. I think it's been the most positive experience not only for us as a gallery and the Community Arts Council, but for people in town who have those creative mindsets and I think it's, it's elevating it um, for the community. I mean, the numbers that we've seen have been incredible um, since moving from the Roland Art Centre, and we, we do love the Roland Art Centre and we miss it, but this is it's almost a, a new beginning for us. And it's, again, people in this community who have not necessarily visited, up, visited us up at the, the gallery, they're coming in here. It's, it's giving them um, better accessibility, and people are coming through their doors, and, and they're being a lot more positive with this space. And it is a new space. So, Challenging as it may be, I think it's really opening up our doors to, to everybody and we're really seeing some huge numbers and as you can see, we've got some amazing artists that we've never had exhibit with us before. We have over 45 pieces in this exhibit alone that's representing 26 local artists. That's huge. This exhibit runs until May 26, so people have lots of time to come in. And I do want to mention that this, as our Alberti Valley Landmarks exhibit, has um, a People's Choice Award. Um, the amount um, of prize money is $500, so that's open for everybody. All the pieces are numbered, so we encourage everybody to come down once, twice, three times, however many times they'd like to, and pick the one that they would like the best or that they find is, is the most thought-provoking piece. Um, it is, the money has been given to us by an, um, an anonymous donor, so we are also encouraging if anybody in the community would like to sponsor um, a future exhibit, please, we're looking for that because I think it's a wonderful way to really elevate, again, the artists in our community.